and expand it. So you're just uh, highlighting the pragmatic reality of how companies are run. Your margin is my opportunity. Whose code is that, by the way? Chef Bezos. So you think the money that is brought in from ads is just too amazing of a drug to quit for Google? Right now, yes. This quote from Jeff Bezos was the grounding philosophy behind how Arvind Srinivas, CEO and co-founder of Plapexity AI, went into his battle against Google. And it perfectly captures how the four-person startup achieved something many thought was impossible. They cracked Google's 25-year search monopoly. Google's $198 billion search empire built on high margin advertising created the very opening that Perplexity exploited and the results speak for themselves. For 25 years, Google has held an iron grip on how billions of people access information online. They process 14 billion searches daily. Compared to this, Perplexity handles just 26 million daily queries, representing just 0.18% of Google's volume. Yet, users spend 10 to 23 minutes per session on Perplexity compared to Google's two to four minutes. They have an 85% retention rate and Google is scrambling to respond. So what did this startup understand that the most powerful tech company in history missed? Let's start with a quick look at the founder and CEO, Aravind Srinivas's background. He grew up in a lower middle class family in Chennai, India. By 2022, he had earned his PhD in computer science from UC Berkeley and worked at AI's most prestigious institutions like OpenAI, Google Brain, and DeepMind. He wasn't trying to disrupt search. He was trying to solve a much simpler problem. But Srinivas had learned something crucial during his academic career. As he explained to Lex Friedman, When I wrote my first paper, the senior people who were working with me on the paper told me this one profound thing, which is that every sentence you write in a paper should be backed with a citation. This principle became Perplexity's core philosophy. Unlike ChatGPT, where hallucination was treated as an acceptable side effect, Srinivas asked a different question. What is the best way to make chatbots accurate? Is force it to only say things that it can find on the internet, right? And find from multiple sources. The moment came in fall of 2022. Srinivas needed health insurance for their first hire and was frustrated with Google's SEO spammed filled results. He then tested their own experimental AI prototype of perplexity. And as he recalled, it started answering all these questions really well for us. Seven days after OpenAI launched ChatGPT, perplexity went live. The timing was perfect and completely accidental. Now here's where perplexity made their most strategic decision. They refused to build another search engine. Instead, they created something entirely different, an answer engine. Think about how you actually use Google. You type a question, scan through links, click on multiple results, piece together information from different sources, and somehow synthesize that into an answer. Google optimized this process, but they never questioned whether it was the right process. And most likely, they didn't want to question it. Having a complete monopoly over the search space meant that they had no pressure to do things in a better way. But Perplexity asked, what if we did the synthesis for you? What if instead of giving you links to answers, we gave you the answer with transparent citations? With this type of experience, SEO optimization becomes less relevant as AI native search prioritizes quality content and source reliability rather than just keyword manipulation and clickbaity titles. Perplexity wanted to switch from a click-based monetization to a metric that will measure whether they actually fulfilled the user's underlying intent. What helped Perplexity to achieve their growth even faster in the beginning was instead of building expensive custom AI models like Google, they leveraged the foundation models from companies like OpenAI's GPT 3.5 and Anthropic's Claude, eventually letting users select which model they want to use. And the numbers tell a remarkable story as well. Monthly active users exploded from 2 million in February of 2023 to 22 million by 2025. 39 to 44% month over month growth rates that surpassed even early stage social media platforms. They reached an $18 billion evaluation faster than almost any startup in history. Now you might wonder, why couldn't Google simply copy this? They have thousands of engineers, 
billions in revenue and the world's best AI research. But that's exactly the problem. Google's $198 billion search revenue comes from one source, advertising. Their entire business model depends on people clicking through multiple links and seeing multiple ads. An answer engine that gives you the information directly without clicks is not an optimization to their product, it's a revenue killer. Similar to my previous video on ARC, this is again the same case of Clayton Christensen's Innovator's Dilemma playing out. Established companies optimize existing solutions while disruptors question fundamental assumptions. Google has responded with AI overviews, AI mode search, and Gemini integration. But notice what they can't do. They can't fully embrace the answer engine model because it would destroy their existing revenue. And the results are already showing. Google's search traffic growth slowed from high single digits to just 2% in Q1 of 2025. Their market share dropped below 90% for the first time in 15 years. But even with this growth, there was a problem that was approaching perplexity very quickly. As ChatGPT, Claude, and Gemini all started adding web search capabilities, users started to wonder what made perplexity any different from these other products. Now, although Srinivas will still continue to make sure that Perplexity is still the best web search platform on the market, he still had a plan for this and recently made a huge bet for the future of search. Perplexity announced that they were building an agentic browser. Comet Browser, launched in July of 2025, represents a huge shift for Perplexity and the browser industry. Similar to the browser company's Dia, instead of a traditional tab-based browsing, Comet transforms the entire experience into a conversational, AI-focused web experience. Instead of you actively searching and clicking, Comet anticipates your needs and suggests actions. The browser can book reservations, manage emails, compare products, and handle complex multi-step workflows through natural language commands. Head of design Henry Modisett describes their philosophy as like a Scandinavian subway system clean and considered, but invisible. The interface looks familiar, like a traditional browser, but adds AI enhancements without overwhelming users. Early beta testers describe wow moments and productivity transformation. Power users report significant workflow improvements, although some did find the AI features a bit too much for simple browsing tasks. But underlying all this is a fundamental design philosophy that Google cannot replicate. Transparency. Unlike competitors who treat AI as a black box, Perplexity makes the research process visible. Step-by-step -step progress indicators, expandable search sections, and hovering to see citation previews. You can see exactly how it arrived at the answer, a great case of how UX principles are being applied. This is visibility of real-time progress, recognition over recall through the proactive follow-up suggestions, and even error prevention through the query refinement. And there's one more thing that Perplexity is outdoing Google on. Perplexity pays publishers double digit percentages when their content appears in sponsored questions. Google has a zero revenue sharing system that creates adversarial relationships with content creators. Perplexity, on the other hand, created partnerships with Time, Fortune, and 30 plus other publishers. Perplexity's remarkable journey from a startup to an $18 billion company in just three years demonstrates that even the most entrenched tech monopolies can remain vulnerable to startups that have focused innovation and address genuine user pain points. By applying academic principles of citation and transparency to AI-powered search, Perplexity created the first credible alternative to Google in over two decades. This David and Goliath story continues unfolding as regulated pressure, strategic partnerships, and AI progression accelerates the transformation of one of technology's most important times. And if history is any guide, we are only seeing the beginning of this.